Two fires happening just hours apart in the Pine Hills community. Now more than a half a dozen people are without a place to stay. News 6's Vanessa Ariza joins us live for what, from where one of those fires happened. And at first, Vanessa, is everyone okay in those fires? That's the good news in all of this, Lisa. It could have been much worse, but go ahead and take a look at what's left of this home. The garage area you can see just charred. I just spoke with some of the uh, family members of those who are living here, and they said that the Red Cross is helping, which is great, but they say they lost a lot. A furnace is believed to be the culprit for this house fire along Grandview Drive in Pine Hills. The family smelled an odor for a couple of days and uh, finally that uh, progressed to the fact when they had smoke in the house and there was a fire in the attic. That's where it's an older home. That's where the heating unit was. That call was made at 930 this morning. Less than two hours later, they were called to another house fire. This one blocks away. Our first arriving units had heavy fire on the garage side of the house. A space heater was being used in the garage where the fire started. But right now it's not being said if that was the exact cause. I spoke with the owner. She said it was on an extension cord, albeit a heavy duty extension cord. You should never use any portable heaters with extension cords. They draw a lot of current. Six people live in the home along with a 10 month old child, but only two were inside the house at the time a woman and her grandmother. The adult granddaughter actually was asleep when the grandmother smelled the smoke. What may have saved them, working smoke alarms. Mike Jackals with Orange County Fire Rescue says smoke inhalation is what kills people. The grandmother was able to wake her granddaughter and get out safely. And loved ones of those who live here say that they have been in contact with the Red Cross and that they have secured a hotel room for this evening, but they're hoping to sift through what is left here and hopefully get some valuables. I noticed some of the picture frames that were um, kind of charred on the side, but their spirit's very good. And again, no loss of life tonight, so that is the good news. Now, that public information officer who you just heard there said that these nights they are going to get colder. If you do have to have a, a, a space heater in your home, do not use an electrical uh, extension cord. He said that that is very dangerous. And if you don't have a working smoke alarm, you can contact your local fire department. They will bring one out, set it up for you. Just have to give them a call. Lisa. Vanessa, thank you.